In this video, I'm going to be going over my predictions for the new edition lock-ins in NBA 2K23. My team, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about when I say new edition lock-ins, just to catch you guys up to speed on what the new edition promo is. So basically, these are going to be the new Tuesday packs, and every single Tuesdays, Tuesday, we will get a new new edition drop that has four primary cards. There will be these other bracket busters in the packs, but these are not in new edition. So for example, Clyde Drexler is the Dark Matter for this past Tuesday, Ben Wallace is the Galaxy Opal, the Pink Diamond is Marcus Smart, and then the diamond is Tristan Thompson. So those are the four new cards that came out this past Tuesday in the new edition drop. But as you guys can see, there's going to be four different promos. There's the Prime, which is the Dark Matter. There's the Signature Series, which is the Galaxy Opal. There's the Idols, which is the Pink Diamond. And then the Flash, which is the Diamond Players. And all of these are going to have their own separate lock-in. As you guys can see, for locking in these five Diamond Players, you will get a Galaxy Opal Flash Mystery Player that will be available this Tuesday when we get that final fifth player for the lock-in. Same thing for the Idols. you got to lock in these five players. Right now, we only have four. We have RJ Barrett, Marcus Smart, Jonas Valanciunas, TJ Warren, and then this Tuesday, we will get that final new, uh, new edition idols in the packs. And then same thing for the signature series and same thing for the prime as well. Now, the difference is idols. So the pink diamond set and the diamond set for flash are going to lock in for Galaxy Opal players, as you guys can see in the bottom left of the screen. And then for the signature series, this is going to lock in for a dark matter signature series mystery player. And then the prime one is also going to lock in for a dark matter player. Now, this one is super expensive. Now, I feel like this has got to be one of the it's going to be probably one of the best cards in the game to lock in this set for because if you have to lock in five dark matter players if let's say for example they all go for 300,000 mt that is 1.5 million mt on one single card that's got to be a guy that's a top card at his position and maybe even the best card in the game a card that was around that price tag was dark matter cream like you can you can probably lock this card in now for under 1.5 million mt on xbox so if you're going to do that for cream you need to have a card on cream's level and cream might be like the best power forward in the game so when when, when we're talking about this lock-in for the prime set i think we got to go to a big name so now to start off with my you know predictions and i want to hear your guys thoughts and opinions and predictions for each one of these sets who do you guys think is going to be the prime lock-in who do you guys think is going to be the signature series lock-in the idols and then the flash as well well, I'll probably throw out a couple names for each one of guys that I could possibly see. Obviously, you guys should know I'm not going to be able to get this 100% right. I probably won't even guess one single player right per lock-in, but I'm just going to give you guys my best predictions and guys that I personally would like to see and then maybe I think would see as well. So starting it off here with the Dark Matter lock-in set. I do believe this has to be a guy that's going to be a top tier name. I think it's got to be a Kawhi Leonard, a Wilt Chamberlain, a Hakeem Olajuwon, a Bull Bull, these type of names. I feel like it has to be one of those four. you know, somebody I could be missing. Like, I don't think they'll do a Shaq. I don't think they'll do a Luka and MJ. I probably could maybe see a Thon Maker type of card. You know, that's why I'm kind of thinking like a Bull Bull or Thon Maker if they want to really soup him up. Because like I said... The, this is probably going to be over a million, easily over a million MT to lock in for maybe 1.5, maybe even 2 million MT if the lock in player is really good. So I could see it being a Kawhi Leonard. We haven't got a Kawhi card since the Eclipse set. And then I could definitely see it being Will Chamberlain because we haven't had Wilt since season one. And it seems like they've been saving Wilt for some reason and they've been saving him for something. So I feel like this could be the perfect chance for the for them to give us a Dark Matter Wilt card as the lock in. And they like giving Will Chamberlain out as lock ins. But my four guesses I could see for this prime lock-in is going to be in order i would say i think most realistically it's going to be wilt then i think it could also be Kawhi number two hakeem number three and then bull bull number four i mean it could be bull bull i think they want to probably save him for packs because he's such a good pack seller like a taco you know like a yao ming like these glitchy cards so i think they'll probably say bull bull for packs but he definitely could be the lock-in and i would not be surprised so for my guess i would say it's going to be dark matter will chamberlain but then i, I think it also could be Kawhi leonard hakeem elijuan because we haven't got a hakeem since season two and then i think it could also be bull bull as well so my prediction for the prime lock-in is going to be dark matter wilt and let me know in the comment section down below who do you guys think the dark matter lock-in is going to be now talking about the galaxy opal one this is probably the most interesting set of the entire four lock-ins because this is the most realistic set to lock in that could be really nice because you're locking in five galaxy opal players for a dark matter i personally bought danny granger for 20k darren fox for 420k and then robin for 40,000 mt so just from these four uh, three cards alone that's only 80,000 mt i know ben wallace does go for a lot he's about like 150,000 mt so that's obviously going to raise up the price a lot but even 
even if you're spending, you know, 250, 300,000 MT for a Dark Matter player, that still seems to be exceptionally good value. And maybe they'll drop super packs to lower these cards' prices. But to lock, or to lock in for this, you're going to need to probably lock in about 300,000 MT on average, especially if these cards do go up in price. So, 300,000 MT. I don't think it's going to be a massive name. I don't see it being a, you know, a Kawhi Leonard. I don't see, I don't see it being a Wilt Chamberlain. You know, I don't see it being a. Uh, who was my first guest? Will Chamberlain, Kawhi, Hakeem, or Bull Bull. I think those names are too big of names. So I just think it's going to be like a lower tier Dark Matter name. I think it could be a James Worthy type of player. I know he was already kind of like a reward lock-in for the trophy case, but I could see a Dark Matter James Worthy. If we're talking about guards, I could see a Derrick Rose, that type of card, because he always like sometimes is a lock-in, I think, or I could just see him kind of being a lock-in. So for this one, my guess is going to be either James Worthy or Derrick Rose. That's kind of what I'm hoping for if we get like a Worthy. I mean, I would love to see a really big name like a Kawhi, like a Will Chamberlain, maybe a Bull Bull. Like I would love to see that but realistically i think it could be a d rose a james worthy i think it also could be really bad and it could be a john stockton a chris paul a bob mcadoo you know these type of cards that's what i think it possibly could be if they're going to go down like the not so good route for this set but hopefully being optimistic it's going to be like a james worthy because he could be a really good small forward as a dark matter and probably will be worth locking in for because he maybe could be the new best small forward if we don't get any good small forwards this coming friday like we don't get like a souped up kevin durant or something like that so I do believe overall this set will be like a decent Dark Matter name. If you guys have any other predictions, which I'm sure you guys do, and you have tons of names to throw out, let me know in the comment section down below. Just James Worthy and Derek Rose is kind of my top two candidates. There's a bunch of guys that you could obviously go with for this set. For me personally, I'm going to say it's between Derek Rose and James Worthy, and I'm going to guess James Worthy as this uh, Dark Matter lock-in for the Signature Series. Now talking about the idols, this one is going to be for five Pink Diamond players, and right now, TJ Warren is super expensive. I think he's around 40,000 MT on Xbox, maybe even a little bit more. Yeah, he's about 40,000 MT, which is incredibly expensive for Pink Diamond. And the reason is, is because people are expecting him to be the gatekeeper because he was very, uh, very hard to pull on the Tuesday he did drop in. And then the rest of the, the Pink Diamonds are about like nine to 10,000 MT. So this set, let's just say it's 10,000 MT for the other four Pink Diamonds. And then let's say it's about 40,000 MT for TJ Warren. So you're looking for, for about maybe under 100,000 MT to lock in the set for the Galaxy Civil player. Now, a Galaxy Opal that's going to be worth around 100,000 MT. I just don't see it being a huge name. I think it could be a solid card. I think it could be a Cedric Maxwell. I can 100% see that. I think we will probably get a Cedric Maxwell sometime this year. You know, we haven't got a single Cedric Maxwell card. So I could definitely be uh, seeing it being a Cedric Maxwell. I could also maybe it seeing being nice english i think it could also be maybe somebody from the flash forward set one of these cards possibly i could see that i think for some reason i'm thinking it's going to be like an older player from like the 1960s 1970s so maybe they give us a Dolph shays maybe they give us a bob netalecki a kazi russell i'm thinking a cedric maxwell that's where i'm kind of looking at for this galaxy simple set you do have to lock in four pink diamonds and our five pink diamonds that'll probably be around 100,000 mt maybe 150,000 mt if the final pink diamond is expensive so i'm kind of thinking like one of these cards could be the uh, galaxy so, oh wait no sorry am i i'm really dumb i forgot that they already have galaxy opal cards never mind it could be some of the pink diamonds maybe i don't know what i was saying it could be like a cincy nice pal i still think it could be a cedric maxwell i don't know why i was saying these cards for some reason i thought this set was for a dark matter but yeah they're not going to get probably more you know new opals so i'd say maybe like a cincy nice pal you know maybe a richie gurin type card a bailey howell cedric maxwell that's kind of where i'm at with these older players but let me know in the comment section down below who do you guys think is going to be the idols lock in for me my guess will be I'll go Galaxy with Cedric Maxwell. I'll be super optimistic in this video, even though realistically, it's probably going to be nobody I mention. I mean, I, I probably think I have a better chance to guess, the, to guess the prime one because these like opals could be like realistically anybody. And then guys, to talk about the final set, which is going to be the flash with the diamond cards. Now, you could probably get all these diamond cards for like under 5,000 MT. I think uh, Klaxon is kind of looking to be the uh, to be the gatekeeper right now around 10,000 MT. So let's say you, pen, let's say you pay 10,000 MT for Klaxon. And then it's what, uh, 20,000 MT, so 30,000 MT for the set, maybe 50,000 MT if the cards go up in price. So we'll just say under 50,000 MT for this Galaxy Opal player. Now, I just don't see this being a good Opal. I do think it's going to be a short point guard. I think it's going to be a Chris Paul, a John Stockton, a Gilbert Arenas. Or here he has an Opal, sorry. So not Gilbert Arenas. I think it's going to be maybe a John Stockton. I think it's going to be a Chris Paul. I'm kind of leaning for the shorter point guards in this, you know, lock-in set. I think they're going to give us at least one short point guard. So I think it could be maybe even a Derrick Rose. Just, you know, here it is a pink diamond. So it could be a Derrick Rose for this one. That's actually probably my best guess, to be honest. It could be Derrick Rose. It could be John Stockton, Chris Paul. 
you know, these type of shorter point guards. Maybe somebody else that I'm missing that's a short point guard. But yeah, guys, do let me know in the comment section down below who you guys think it could be for Flash. I think I'm going to lock in my answer as a Galaxy so with Derrick Rose. So now just to quickly go over my four guesses for the Prime, Signature Series, Idols, and Flash. I think for the Prime, it will be Dark Matter, Will Chamberlain. I think for the Signature Series, it will be Dark Matter, James Worthy. For the Idols, I do think it will be uh, Galaxy so with Cedric Maxwell. And then like you, and like, like I just said, for the Flash, I do believe it will be Galaxy so with Derrick Rose. Now, will I get any of those right? Most likely not. Probably all going to be wrong. But let me know in the comment section down below who are some of your... Who who are some of your guys predictions who do you guys maybe want to see who do you guys who do you guys think we will see for all of these sets as well but hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace